Hey folks, hey Star Wars fans, hope everyone is doing fantastic, man, it feels good to be behind a camera again. Um, yeah, I just after doing my sort of comeback video yesterday, sort of announcing what's going on, oh, I really just wanted to get straight into doing some toy reviews, because I've got so many new figures that have come out recently, and uh, yeah, this one is probably one of my favourites this far. Um, we do have this one at work. Um, through Kessel Run here in Collectibles. There's a link down in the description below. That's where I picked it up. Always get my figures from work. It's it's awesome working in a place where I can get my toys. <laughs> it's great. It's really good. So yeah, we'd probably just take a look at the box. It was a little bit iffy about the uh, the look of the figure. The Luke, the likeness on Luke doesn't really look that great, but I can assure you it is much better in person. Even the artwork on the side looks pretty good. You know, pretty good likeness of Mark Hamill there. Um, with Grogu on his back, I love that. It's been really looking forward to this figure with this outfit um, from that Book of Boba Fett episode. It is number seven from the Book of Boba Fett. And the little bio on the top here says, To help hone his skills and understand the ways of the Force, Grogu trains with the new Jedi Master, Luke Skywalker. So like I said, on the side you get all the accessories. You get a rock, laser blast, a little clear stand... The little chainmail in the wrap and um, frog lightsaber, yeah, all this stuff, which I'll show you because it's better to show you the actual product than just pictures of it on a box. Um, but yeah, I'm going to zoom up so we can take a look at Luke. And uh, yeah, this is one fantastic, fantastic action figure. I really like the likeness of Luke. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll just it's a great combination like of, of accessories and um you know a bit of nostalgia here with the whole luke with the backpack you know re reminiscent of Tr yoda training with luke on dagobah this time luke is doing the training which is awesome we do get little grogu once again Let's see if we focus on him So I don't believe this is any different to any others we've had before. This looks nice. And yes, he has a little peg hole, and we'll get into that afterwards. And he does fit in the backpack quite nicely. We'll sh show that as we get along. So I just want to go through the accessories first. Now we do have this sort of rock piece here it does have a couple of peg holes in it one for this stand which is a little ball and socket which I'm just going to keep in there because it is a little bit of a tight fit and the uh, plastic is probably going to bend a little bit if you try too hard but uh yeah that's a nice piece so you do get so you do get this laser blast and it does go in a certain way because there is like a flat edge on the peg. It's a matter of just getting that in the right spot. So that's nice and tight there. And then you get the training remote, um, which is the same mold as the Skywalker Strikes Luke Skywalker, um, which also came with this. Um, so this, this comes with the set again. So you could just display the the training remote on this clear stand as well um it's you know it's posable you can do all that so it's a nice little extra it didn't really need to be in there but depending on how you want to display this that's that's definitely an option so we do get this little frog as well which came with uh grogu in his single release so i'll pop him down there well let's just tilt that so we can get a look at it all I'm a little bit out of practice with these reviews, guys, so you just bear with me. So we do have this little box, which is nice. Inside is the hilt of Jedi Master Yoda. So as Luke is offering, giving Grogu the choices, you do get a lit Yoda lightsaber, which is di excuse me different to the one we've had with the Yoda figures. Um, this one's a little bit smaller in size. You can almost, almost get Grogu to hold it himself. 
But um, yeah, in terms of putting it in Luke's hand, it feels a little bit small. It's almost a, almost feels a little bit like a three and three quarter inch <laughs> um, scale Yoda lightsaber, but probably a little bit bigger. But um, you know, I think it's alright. I think it works fine for this set. Um, just a little bit loose in his hands, whereas the older Yoda lightsaber would have fit better. But it's still still a nice nice addition. Then we get this little piece here. And I might just zoom up on this a little bit. So you're very nicely sculpted and detailed with that paint. It's like the cloth. It's tied up and looks like Grogu's head. You can almost replace it. <laughs> so yeah, get some cool accessories and uh, yeah, the point of this, zooming back out again, is so a little ball socket goes in there. You can either display Grogu flipping away to avoid the laser blast, or you know, you could take the laser blast out and you can have Luke walking alongside of him and sort of guiding him with the force in order to help him along with their walk. So it's kind of cool, I like it. I think it's I think it's kind of cool, really nicely done, I think. I, I, I dig that. I know it's not. I, I, I just, I think it's cool. <laughs> I think it's a cool little accessory to put beside Luke. So that, that's a nice little addition, I dig that. So I just... Let me get these little bits and pieces out of the way and we'll get a good look at Luke. So you zoom up again. There we go. See, so re I find this to be a really, really good likeness of, of Luke. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. But obviously the back put there's his lit lightsaber which is you know unpeggable he doesn't have a spot on his belt for it so he's left to hold it but that's fine um the backpack now i couldn't tell you off the back of my head whether this is the same one that came with the dagger but training luke i believe it is slightly different in color that one was more of a darker blue this one's sort of uh, off blue white but I imagine it's, you know, made probably the same backpack. Luke took all that gear with him on his last venture to Dagobah and uh, using it again today. There is a little piece of plastic in there which comes on a little stand. I don't know if I can get it out because it is a... Once I sort of put it in there, it was a nice sort of snug fit. And it's just all it is. It's a little piece of like a flat base um, just to put in there. That just gives Grogu a little chance to um, be boosted up a little bit. So if I get him pop him in there he's not going to disappear into the bag so you can just sort of have him in there he's standing on the little plate so that's kind of cool i do dig that so yeah with this this is a top bit of a tricky joint this one there's a little peg and a hole in the side there um this is a little bit of a tricky uh tricky one but then you can just sort of lift that up over Assuming I've got it right. <laughs> there we go. So the backpack does come off and we're left with Luke to do some Jedi training of his own. But uh, yeah, different, slightly different to his typical sort of black Jedi outfit. This is more of just a sort of relaxed sort of garb. Um, or just a sort of standard nicely wrapped tunic. Very simple, very monk-like. And then the uh, just the wrapped boots, you know, again, sort of, sort of a nod to a sort of simpler time for Jedi training. Something you know, a little bit more lax, less sort of showy than his Jedi tunic. Um, I don't know. I just I I just really really dig this look. But yeah, I think it's a, a really good likeness of Luke. Articulation's all there. Um, same as the other, other more recent Lukes. Um, 
Yeah, it does have the sort of the pinless joints there in the shoulders, which is pretty much standard for most figures these days. Um, yeah, just great, nice seamless articulation throughout the entire figure, sort of the way the joints are sort of built into the mold, um, the way the, the creases sort of fit in. Same with the back of the legs there. It's just, it's really nicely done these days. And uh, yeah, definitely commend Hasbro for where they've taken these figures. Um, yeah, I'm very, very, very thrilled with this one. Just a great likeness. Good articulation throughout. You get this kind of small some poses. Yeah, just a really good one. So appreciate you guys hanging out and checking out my new video. I do appreciate it. It's nice to be back. Nice to be back creating creating videos and, and all that good stuff. It's been a lot of fun and um, yeah, I've certainly missed it. So very happy to be back. Um, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on another one. Till then, may the force be with you always.